Hey everybody, W here with another Stratego game analysis. In this game, we're going to see how one one little simple blunder can cost you the game. Now, the great thing about Stratego is you can make mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake, and you can still win. You know, as long as you don't give up and, and give your opponent enough time to screw up, uh, and you can capitalize on his mistakes then, uh, you know, you're still in the game. You can win. But sometimes you can make just a little blunder. And it can give your opponent a big opening that can just turn the game around in their favor. So let's get started. In this game, I'm going to be playing with the, uh, the, the three major attack. And I just started doing it uh, several months ago. And I really love doing it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, what you do is you, you charge in with your three majors until you find the marshal. So if I find a marshal with the first major, then I can play a normal game. If I don't find the marshal, I have to attack with my other majors until I do. And if I don't find the marshal at all, then I have to use all three majors until you find bombs or the general or the colonels. So, and then you try to win. And it's a lot of fun being down two or three majors, uh, trying to come back using the information you learned at the start of the game to come back and win the game. So let's get started. And this person was a bronze uh, marshal, I believe, with around 600 games experience. And he was just slightly below 500, I think. So right off the start, it usually doesn't happen uh, right away, but I find a marshal at the start. So I can now play a normal game if I wanted to. But since I was just learning this, uh, this uh, aggressive three major attack, I decided to keep on attacking with my majors. It really is fun. Lottoing is fun. <laughs> but you hope to get good information and a lot of pieces. So that's always nice when you get two pieces and a major. That's really good, even though they were just scouts. But that's what you want to try to do. Because when, when you play with this uh, three major attack, you want to get as many smaller pieces as possible. That's the whole point. You tried to bleed your opponent of all their smaller pieces. So even if they have a two or three major lead, you want to wipe out their the rest of their army. And it's a very memory intensive game. You really have to remember all the information that you gained with your majors. So you have to remember bombs or colonels, generals, or, or the marshal. You have to remember where they are. If you forget it, then your majors died in vain, and you don't want that to happen. So we didn't. We have the marshal, and now we have the general. So, so we're only down two majors, so that's not so bad. And but we only gained two lieutenants and two scouts, so that's not so great. Usually, you want to get a, you'd like to get a couple captains, but we can work with that. So now in this game, I don't do a really good job of bleeding the opponent here. This is going to be a fairly quick game. I don't do a really good job of bleeding the opponent. I was just learning this attack here, and this setup was really terrible for it too. But uh, my opponent makes a minor blunder that really costs them uh, dearly. So this is a general, and this is probably the spy, or maybe that's the spy. It's probably this. We 
we find a bomb. So maybe this is the weak side. I'm not even sure why I posted the miner up here. I just It's always interesting to see how the, your opponent reacts. So now we have two bombs. And your opponents become really defensive. When you, when you charge in with three majors, your opponents get very scared. Now, I should have pulled this miner back because I knew this was a lieutenant, but I probably wasn't paying attention. You really don't want to do stuff like that. I should have pulled it back. So you can see he's scared, and that's how you bleed the pieces. You just keep on charging up, and since they have a lead, they usually use their smaller pieces to see what's coming towards their side. So we had bomb here, bomb here, three bombs. So now I'm wondering, there are some certain strategical patterns, and one is, uh, there's a setup where you have bomb, 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 sergeant, 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 bomb, bomb, flag. So that could be uh, possible here because we haven't found any of his sergeants yet. And we found three bombs here. So that, that might be the setup. I actually lost to that setup once. That was kind of embarrassing. But uh, yeah, the that's not really a good idea to bomb in three sergeants if you ever do that. That's uh, I don't I don't recommend bombing in any piece. Uh, you'll you'll hate it in in a close game at the end when you really need a sergeant and it's bombed in and and then you wind up losing the game. You'll probably never do that again. But anyway, that's some things you have to look at. And, you know these patterns. You know bomb bomb bomb. It could be that that uh, weird weird uh, flag setup. So, and yeah, that was kind of uh, strange here. Uh, this is a little minor blunder, I think. Uh, we knew this was the marshal, and I didn't know what this piece was. So he revealed a piece that he didn't have to reveal. Now maybe he thought I forgot where the marshal went, and he didn't want to re reveal the marshal again. But usually. When a piece is revealed, uh, you don't want to reveal another piece. So he just gave me a target that this is a major. So you don't you don't really want to give your opponent. You want to try to give your opponent as little information as possible. Uh, the more information you give them, the easier it is for your opponent to plan. So try not to do that. So really what I'm trying to do right now is try to get rid of his, his three other scouts. He has three more scouts. He'd like to get rid of the scouts. And now we're going to see how brave he is. We know this is the marshal. You put a piece here. You attack the lieutenant. He might think this is a spy. This is like a test to see how brave, uh, how aggressive your opponent is. Will he take the uh, captain if you have a piece next to it? And he decides better of it. And so now he knows I duped him. And then we get another scout off the board. That's always a key to get rid of to get rid of all their lower pieces, especially the scout. So that way you can move up your your kernels to attack.
I'm hoping to get the other two scouts. So we know this is a lieutenant. We know this is the general. I don't know what this is. So that's good. And now here's the big mistake in this game that my opponent just did. I didn't know what this piece was. And he gave me information he shouldn't have. I knew this was a general. He should have taken this piece with a general. And I think a lot of players would have taken this or would have attacked this. A lot of stronger players would have attacked this with a lieutenant. But a lot of times when players have the lead, they don't want to lose it with their, with their uh, smaller pieces. They rather lose the scout than the lieutenant. So, but that allowed me to f find his colonel. And that was a terrible mistake on his part. Because now that tells me this is the general, colonel, spy, defensive formation. And that can be a lot of problems uh, for the opponent now. And the problem comes when the tripwire pieces, his scouting pieces in front, when they go away, then this player has to decide what happens when a piece comes up here. Is it the marshal or is it the general? And they have to make a decision. And a lot of times that decision is wrong. And it could cost them the game. So that's why uh, this player should have taken this with the uh, general and not revealed the colonel because now this is a huge, the colonel is a huge target, especially when you're down two majors. So now if you want to reset the board and really set up a plan, I could move these pieces out of the way, get my lieutenant up here to take this lieutenant Get a scout over here in this column in case the general moves over and I can fire a scout to get the spy. Uh, that can be very complicated and it can take a long time and then your opponent can move out of this formation. So, but, you know, if you really want to do a, a elaborate plan, uh, you, you can do that. But I decided... Uh, Let's go fast forward and, and, and do it as fast as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this, this, this. I'm going to sacrifice my captain to clear this scouting piece. Because then my opponent won't know what's coming up here. He won't know if it's a marshal or if it's a general or if I'm just bringing up a bluff piece. Now, I, ideally, it would be better if I would use the lieutenant, especially since I'm two majors down. You know, now I'm going two majors down and, and a captain down. But I didn't feel like moving all these pieces. I, I figured I could get this to work. So he takes me with the colonel. And now my opponent has to make a huge decision. And you really don't want to put yourself... In these situations, that's why I'm always a, f a fan of uh, Colonel escape lanes, so the Colonel can keep on running. But he can't because this is blocked and this is probably the spy. So the Colonel goes back. Now, I would say this stat is just in my head from watching lots and lots of games and games I've played. I think when a piece comes here 
in the general Colonel spy defensive formation, I think it's at least 75, 80% of the time the general coming in to get the Colonel. Because, you know, if you come in with the Marshal, you can't really do anything, right? If these two pieces sit still, the Marshal just sits there. And so I'm, I remember um, Max Silverhammer, he's, he's played a lot of games with this defensive formation on the side. And when his scouting pieces are gone, it seems a lot of times people bring down the general to get the, to get the colonel. Every once in a while, they'll bring a marshal down. But most of the time, it's the general. I think it's like at least 75%, 80% of the time, a general comes in here to get the colonel. But I was guessing, and, and my opponent, he takes his time. He thinks for a good seven or eight seconds deciding what to do. And he probably thinks the same thing. He's thinking, well, the marshal can't do anything, so it's probably a general. And he's taking his time here. Ten, nine, eight. And then he finally hits the hits the uh, marshal with the general because he wanted to save his colonel. And then he loses his general. So that's the problem with the general colonel spy formation. Now one thing you might want to do is uh, come up here with a bluff piece. Like a, just bring up a miner or sergeant or scout and sit there and see what reaction, what will happen. And then whatever the, the general does, if it does nothing, then uh, you should come up with the marshal. If it attacks the scout, then the next time come up with the general. Do the opposite. And then I think you'll be able to get the colonel or get the general that way. Uh, but this worked out just like I thought it would. He disconnected, but then he comes back. He's one of those wise guys that disconnects. And then maybe he thought, well, wait a minute, I'm only, I'm only two, I got, I got two majors, so I'm not too bad. And I'm, I got a captain lead and a two major lead. So even if I'm down a general, I know where his marshal is. Let's play the game. Let's try to lotto. Uh, but you hate these guys that disconnect and then they come back to play. Uh, he comes back here. And I probably didn't notice it and then I say oh, okay we got to move so you, you should expect a uh, Marshall Lotto so if, if this is a spy we're backing away So I figure it's going to be a Marshall Lotto coming. Now normally I would go this way. You want to you want to uh lead them to the bombs, right? So they chase right into the bombs. But in this case, I decided to go this way. So if he decided to go down, then I could go up and over with my uh, general and attack over here. And he hits a bomb and then he disconnects for a second time. So he was a two-time disconnector. So... That's how you can uh, win by, uh, by uh, defeating the, the general colonel spy defensive formation. And it all started just on one little simple flub here when he, when he showed me the colonel. And then that gave me the whole idea 
he should have attacked with the general. And he did it over here with a major two. Always try to limit the information you give your opponent. And that can make the difference, you know, if you want to go from bronze to silver level or from silver to gold or from gold to platinum. It's these little things. And giving your opponent information uh, is very bad because they will use it against you. And, you know, the results can be de devastating. So we see it here where he, he loses his general. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. And we'll work on the next video. Bye for now.